Oh, it's a new dawn. It's a new day. For a big old pile of fuckery. Disney is suspected of buying uh, tickets for Star Wars. The Rise of Skywalker. What are you doing? Why are you doing this? Seriously. Um, I was initially sent this over on Twitter by After Hours Media, I believe, so thank you so much. Uh, and I saw it, and I, and I did initially think, what? what? Really? Okay, fine. Uh, and then I took a look into it a little bit more, and I was like, okay, right, yeah, this seems to be actually legitimate. Um, now, we'll get into the article in a little bit, but basically the background of this is a Cinemark uh, has outsold... The, well, has sold the exact same 94 seats for a certain time period within December. 7,000 tickets are unavailable, and it's not part of their movie pass system. So, it's the exact same identical seats, 94 of them, gone. Every single showing. Okay, that's a little bit... Mmm. A little bit of uh, a coincidence there, isn't it? It starts to make you wonder what is going on. Now, this all started to happen with Captain Marvel, right? Captain Marvel was the first... Uh, I, I'm pretty sure it was the first movie that people started to really clock this and go, yeah, they might be inflating the pre-sales here. They might be booking tickets. And it does seem like a super, super dumb thing to do. Um, I don't overly understand the the concept behind it. It could be a form of artificial hype creation you know are artificially inflating the urgency to go and see the film because other tickets are sold out it could be part of that outside of that i find it very difficult to understand why this happens because ultimately they are spending money so yeah interesting but then in the topic of them spending money the people behind this because that's kind of come out now also reveals how it might not be them spending that much money. So let's get into it, right? So following Captain Marvel, Disney is again being suspected of buying tickets for Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker in attempts to promote the movie. Jeremy from the popular YouTube channel The Quartering also points out the tickets for Solo, a Star Wars story, were said to be double that of Black Panther, which is true, and look how Solo bombed. Um, Solo went on to tank big time at the box office and is the first Star Wars movie to have lost money. That is in part due to the fact that it cost an awful lot of money. Um, but look, Black Panther made over a billion dollars, so if you're talking about pre-sales and things like that, it doesn't really make an awful lot of sense. Uh, Solo also only opened to less than 85 million, while Black Panther opened to over 200 million. So how could Solo ticket sales be double? True. Very, very true. I mean, that's very simple math, isn't it? So getting back to Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker, it is already reported that the flick is smashing pre-sale ticket records. Now this is where the interesting stuff happens. Atom tickets went so far as to state that The Rise of Skywalker ticket sales is outselling Avengers Endgame. Well that'll be interesting to see the results then, won't it? With Endgame currently being the number one movie at the box office of all time, Atom further says that Rise of Skywalker ticket sales is their biggest, uh, best-selling movie in 24 hours ever. So when tickets went up for sale, boom. Best-selling movie ever in 24 hours. Jesus, that's a bold claim. I bet you if I go to my local theatre to book, uh, I don't even know if pre-sales are, are out at the moment for view for Rise of Skywalker, but I bet you I'll be able to just go and spot pick whatever seat I want. In fact, I'll show you in a second, because I bet you I will be able to. So, regarding Fandango, the movie ticket seller says, The Rise of Skywalker has outsold all the previous Star Wars movies, beating out the previous re record holder, The Force Awakens. Now, I find that part really hard to believe. And the reason why is there was like a 20-year gap or something. There was a long gap between... Uh, the previous movies, and then The Force Awakens. I don't know if it was 20 years. I don't know. I probably just pulled that out of my ass. But there was such a huge gap that there is undeniable... No. The hype for The Force Awakens versus the hype for The Rise of Skywalker is completely different. There is no way. There is no way that it has beaten out The Force Awakens. Absolutely no way. Just simple logic would dictate that. So, 
This is... Hilariously, Jeremy suggests this is a case of fear of missing out and that Disney could be buying Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker tickets in order to get people to think that they have to see the movie. So artificially creating um, the urgency. It's artificial urgency, basically. Uh, that's what this is. It's manufactured fear of missing out. Yeah, so just quite simply artificial urgency. Now, this is all of the pre-sales. This actually comes to us. It's not from the quartering at all. This is actually from Data Racer over on Twitter. Um, I have his tweet open and I'll show it in a second. But this is all from him. The source does not come from Jeremy of the quartering at all. But it is interesting that it is the exact same seats in every single theatre. And you can see it right here. There's a few outliers um, where, well, the outliers are essentially where the theatre has uh, a different shape to it or there's different seating plans. A little bit here and a little bit there, there's a little bit of a difference. But for the most part, that's the seats that, yeah, they're identical seats. Which is just a little bit too much for coincidence to start missing out on. Um, yeah. And it says... Also points out that it is strange that the hardcore Star Wars fans aren't buying the seats at the edges uh, and that it is weird the front row is sold out prior to the seats on the edges at the back of the theatre. Um, yeah, I would agree with that. Like, no one... If you're doing pre-sales, why, why would you book the tickets closest to the screen? That sucks. That's the worst seats there are. That's not a good seat to watch a movie on. And if these are the hardcore Star Wars fans, why would you be booking it... Literally, so you're nose to nose with the screen. That don't make no sense, bruh. Uh, you would go else. You would go on the sides. You know, all of these side ones here. All of these side ones. You do that in the middle so you can actually see it a bit more. So, now, the interesting part about this is, and I will go through and try to book a ticket myself, um, because I want to show you that uh, I bet you I'd just be able to do it in wherever I want. So, this is where it is. This is where it all came from over on... Twitter, Data Racer, the uh, uh, Cosmic Book News, cite the original source, Data Racer. The Rise of Skywalker ticket pre-sales hype could be fake. A Cinemark 14 has the same 94 seats pre-sold for every showtime from December 19th to December 26th. That's a lot. That's its first week, isn't it? That's 7,000 tickets unavailable, and it is not part of their movie pass. Now, the reason why that's telling is it is the first week. They have just pre-sold pre -sold them all. Um, but they're in exactly the same location. What? Why? But then we scroll through these, the tweets. So, it starts to kind of fall apart when we look into it, right? You know, people are like, they really need to be investigated. Yep. Yeah. Dallas Part 3, nowhere nowhere close to sold out. That's the thing, right? People are saying, oh, it's pre-sale hype is crazy. Now, the reason why it's important, someone commented in here and said, watched a video last night on these so-called ticket sales, and they all come from Atom, a company that both JJ and Disney have links to. Also, the more well-known Fandango site was actually down early doors, but even though they are back, they are not saying the same. So... There's wild fluctuations in what's kind of going on here. Again, the initial claim had to do with Atom, which Disney owns and JJ is on the board of. Bit. Mm. So when people start thinking, oh, but this doesn't make sense because they're going to just lose money. Well, Disney own it. So they're not actually going to be losing any money. Those are not tickets which are, are, are really, really owned by anyone. Um, yes, there will be a certain amount of financial impact, but nowhere near the impact of them just buying tickets from like a local... Like for my, for, for instance, for me, like a local theatre would be an Odeon or a View um, or an IMAX Empire theatre. It wouldn't be the same impact. It wouldn't be the same cost. So let's just do it as curiosity. Let's go and see whether I can book a ticket at my View, shall we? So here I am on my local View. Well, just a view, not even on a local view. Um, Star Wars, The Rise of Skywalker. Let's click on that, shall we? 
choose a venue. I'm not going to choose a local one. It, do, it really does not matter. Let's just go to, let's go to a big one. Let's go to a really, really big, a really, really big one. Because if they're not sold out in a central city location, then I don't know what is, right? Then we know that we're talking shit. So let's go to Edinburgh, for instance. Um, uh, Edinburgh Omni Centre. I think that is a big one. I don't know. Uh, get all tickets and times. Okay, so this is the this is the opening night, midnight Wednesday, eighteenth December. Yeah, let's take a look at that. It's in two D. Let's have a look. This is Edinburgh, massive, massive city centre. Oh, sorry, what's this? Ha 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 ha! Oh, what's this? Sorry, let's move my big dumb face out of the way. Sorry, what's this? Oh, I can... Oh, right. Okay, so I can literally choose anywhere I want, basically. There's not really... All the VIP seats are all here. One there. I mean, there's loads. So, yeah. Pre-sale hype? I think not, ladies and gents. Um, I think there is some truth to this. Pre there's no pre-sale hype. This is the opening night. This is the opening night. Yeah. Love to hear your thoughts though, so please do let me know down below in the comment section. If you're new here, hit subscribe. You can set up to date on the world of pop culture and movie news by hitting the bell notification icon. If you want to support the channel further, I've got Space Jeebus Mark II shirts underneath every single video. Check it out. You will really like that design, uh, as well as my Patreon linked down below in the description box. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Mr. H. Take care.